you can try recording too. Yes, I'm also recording. Yes, everything is on computer. Okay, very good. Okay, and now, uh, welcome to our second class. Sorry, sorry, very sorry for technical delays. Uh, you are you are welcome to open your mi microphones. Our class is very interactive, very interactive. And uh, what we will do now, we, uh, we will start with quiz. And uh, then uh, I will remind you a little bit uh, about the lecture on uh, gradients and Hessian. And uh, afterwards we will solve problems with cl uh, uh, in class. If you have some administrative uh, questions, uh, okay. Can I, can I have a question? Something happens with this uh, recording. Okay, I, I started it again. So uh, we, we will have quiz in the beginning. Then we will uh, return to the lecture. Then we will solve problem in class. And in the end, if you have general uh, organizational questions, and then uh, reception hour. So we have a good program for today. And uh, let me start. Uh, let me start uh, with quiz. Uh, Can I ask about the quiz first? And no, no. I will show you, and then we will discuss. Okay. Okay. So quiz. Uh, it's very short and very simple. If you took the, the lecture, you can open your lecture notes, which you did, I believe. And just a second, I, I will share the screen. Uh, Please, yes. Can you first uh, explain second. how the quiz is going to look just like? Second. Because we don't I, know I how to. No, no, no. It's easier once to see and then. Okay. So. You, you you see the quiz now, I hope, yes? Do you see it? Yes. Okay. And I, I even will yeah. do my window a little bit larger to have. Okay, you see the quiz is very simple. If you watched the lecture, it's not difficult to answer it. So write down answer in any way on piece of paper or directly in your computer. If you write on piece of paper, you 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 will have have to use something like a scanner and uh, upload. Uh, you see on Moodle there is an uh, open uh, task for quiz. For now, it's open during one hour. Uh, and uh, any more any more question about quiz? I can yes. I am not registered yet to the course. Can I uh, send you the answer uh, by mail? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, despite that, in the Moodle, you 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 can also be free, free uh, participants. I hope that if you are free participant, you also are allowed. But send me by email. If if somebody is not registered, just send me by email. It's okay. And I I hope it's really sh not so long. Uh, maybe it's even five or seven minutes will be enough for you. And after you finish, uh, you can raise your hand. You see the hands somewhere. Uh, so it's called the uh, participants. Uh, so, sorry, uh, Just a uh, second, uh, just a second. Uh, how do you raise your hand? Uh, I don't see here all menu when I am sharing, but you will, find way to raise your hand uh, uh, and uh, I will see that you're finished. Yeah, yes, I, I'm with you. Yes, uh, so we have to hand this quiz in through the Moodle and if, um, in the next seven minutes. Uh, yes, yes. If uh, uh, It will be open in the Moodle even more, but in I, I think in about seven minutes we will move to, to our lesson. Just okay, no problem. Just start working. It's opened in the Moodle during our 
And if you are really late, and but you did it, just send me by email, it's also okay. Can I also have a question? Yes, yes. Do we know how much the squeeze should be like in uh, relation to the grade or? Uh, about grading, take it uh, half formally in this way. The, the main goal of the quiz is uh, to be sure that you, to make you sure that you uh, hear the lecture and took notes. This is the main goal of the quiz. To be I understand, but what happened if we, we will like someone like me with Corona in quarantine at home, which I didn't get, really get to see the videos, maybe as I should have. How does it affect me if I get the quiz wrong? That's what I mean. Uh, it's not good. Let's discuss it separately. I really expect uh, all the students, except of some, some really uh, exceptions, uh, uh, to watch the video because in our lesson we are using we are assuming that you watched and we discuss if you didn't watch you miss our lesson but let's discuss it uh, later not to disturb uh, with uh, uh, private questions let's di discuss uh, after the lesson not to disturb other people And uh, again, uh, after you finish the quiz, please raise your hands. Please, anybody help me how, how to remind how do you raise your hand because uh, not all mean you. Um, you can do it in reactions. I reactions, yes, yes, I forgot, yes. With reactions, but the uh, hand is reason if you finished quiz, not for any other reason. I already see somebody did, it's, it's good, it's good. Very good, very good. I see that you're progressing. Michael, if we are here in the lecture, we don't need to upload the notes also, right? To the model. Uh, it's very desirable during this Zoom meeting do you do take notes especially especially you you can do take your notes about gen, general stuff which i'm passing rather fast but we solve problems and i really want you to write down solution of the problems and do upload the notes in the end of class or after the end of class upload anything you 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 have you will not get special grade for this uh, you, you know, I have tendencies, some things take uh, half formally. I, I say, if student worked, I, I am happy if he didn't work much in the class and he has some discussion with me about, for example, exam grade, then I take this into consideration. I really want to encourage you work actively. And this is good, I upload your, what you did right in the class in the end of lesson or oh, few hours after the end of, till end of the day, it's also completely okay. But don't copy from, don't uh, submit copy of uh, somebody else. Try to write your own. Yes, yes. Thanks. Please. The name or uh, ID on the PDF. And, and uh, okay, okay let, let's, let people do it quietly and then we will discuss uh, hello can i ask a question i hope that those who are watching uh, are working now we don't di disturb them what do you think people who are working we don't disturb you if you are talking we, we are talking now just tell yes or no. I know you are busy. Not really, not really. 
Okay, then ask your question. But, but uh, take into account, it's not good to ask questions now because we also want attention of other people when I am ask, un answering. Let, let's wait a bit. Let's wait till the end of the piece. And uh, if anybody succeeded to submit to Moodle, please say with voice that Moodle is working normally. It's working. It's okay. It's okay. working. Yeah. Thank you very much. Okay, and while you are working, I am taking my coffee for half a minute. I will be back. Oh, you cannot see my video. It's not easy with Zoom. I stopped sharing, sharing because I didn't see my video. Is uh, does anybody still need the text of it? I, I, I hope no. Um, and can I have a, may I ask uh, something um, about the notes? Should we submit them? What are they? Because I saw them in the model. Uh, do you, uh, first of all, do you, during our Zoom me meeting, I expect you to have some notes or anything is explained, some notes, but especially 
uh, write down the solution of the problems which we will uh, solve in the class and then submit. Submit uh, maybe a little bit better to submit in the end of the class, but uh, you, you, if you will uh, write them more carefully afterwards and uh, submit it again, it's also very good. Note of the current Zoom or the videos we had to watch? Uh, mean, meantime, I'm I'm talking about current Zoom and, and the, about video we will de discuss separately. But I don't understand what notes because this Zoom is just started. So what do you want us to write? We, we, we will work in the class, solve problems, discuss things, and just put on the paper or on, on your screen where you are writing. Yeah, but do you want me to file them too? I don't understand. If you write on the paper, yeah, it's it's good to in in then to to take uh, uh, picture to I don't know come scanner or whatever and upload the the same as you do with kids. Well, we're going to look at it. Uh, what is it for? Okay, Let, let's, uh, what, what I propose, we will discuss all organizational questions uh, in the end. And now we, we are moving to mathematics. So uh, it's uh, already enough time. Uh, so you, you can upload this quiz, uh, it will be opened uh, during one hour. Uh, Michael, uh, we need to know- we will, we we need should to... move. Yes, yes. We need to know if we need to take notes. I don't usually you take need, notes. You and, need to take notes, and this especially, is how, okay. especially why? Because we are solving, we will solve problems with class. This is class with active work. You are really supposed to write things when we are working. And if you succeeded to solve problem yourself, it's great. If uh, then we will demonstrate solution of the problem and you should write it down and in the end it's good way good thing to submit just be be active and write down what happens in class okay as much as you can nobody does ideally but if you do as much as you can it's, it's good okay uh now i should pin again my view and uh, what we will do now now, you know, uh, I, usually I go fast with uh, my slides, uh, but uh, this time uh, I will start with a really, really short video, which is a short reminder of what was in the lecture and a little bit di different view. And then we will move to the slide. Uh, let me try to do it. Just a second. Again, screen share. Share screen. Where is this video? Now you will see me multiple times. And uh, uh, only let me know if you hear uh, sound and see the, the video well. So derivatives of multivariate functions, gradient coefficients, and uh, in the lecture we start uh, with the one-dimensional. Can't hear. I, can, I cannot hear anything. We can't hear the nothing. Sound and the video are not good. Uh, just a second. Do do you hear sound of the video? Uh, it's really disrupted. Badly. <laughs> ah, it's bad quality. Yes, you 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 hear something, but the, the quality is not good. Yes, it's distorted. Yes. It's distorted. Yeah. Okay. When you share a screen, you should uh, check uh, uh, something that says uh, optimized for video sharing or something like that. But uh, are you sure? Okay, let's try it again. Yeah, maybe you should uh, share the screen uh, again. Stop share. I am not sure that it will improve sound, but uh, let's try. When you're sharing, there is share video option. You should check. Optimized. Yeah, sound, sorry. I, I know optimize uh, 
and shares ah ah it was not shared sound yes you you, you know somebody did uh, receipt to my uh, reset to my uh, options of skype uh, okay i even not will not optimize for clip i just will share and tell me now whether the sound is good okay so derivatives of multi rate functions gradient and hessians is the sound better now the sound is better but the video we can is understand nothing can you just send the video so everybody will watch it on their own computer because we can understand this way okay let's do this attempt uh just okay did i upload upload it it's not the same video we what what's supposed no, no, to no, see it's I... just a second just a second. Give, give me one second uh okay i stop share uh it's okay it happened it's first time you you you, you know uh just a second one more uh I go to... Go to YouTube and get my video. Uh, your videos, and I will start it. Uh, okay, and now. Okay, I started it and now I will copy video URL and send it in the Zoom messages. Uh, uh, you, you can, uh, by the way, you can put down your hands. It will be easier for me. Uh, chat. I will send. Where is the chat? Okay. Okay. I send you a link to the video on YouTube. Do you see it in the chat? Nope. No. Oh. Ah, I should. Uh, you sent it to waiting room participants. You didn't send it uh, to yeah, everyone. Yeah, 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 yeah. And please uh, take care about the uh, waiting room, my co-hosts, everyone in the meeting. It's interesting by default. Yes. Now, now I hope you, you see it. Do you yes, see it? Now we see. see. Yes. Okay. So it's rather short. It's five minutes, but it's very important. And you see it, and I will prepare my slides for sharing. You will parallelize the work okay okay first time it happened first time first meeting you know usually such thing happen okay now my slides Okay, I am sharing my slides. And please let me know after you finished the video, just with boy. Because it's about six minutes, less than six minutes. It's rather short. Oh, Tuesday. 
Michael, we heard the recording uh, also at the Zoom. Can you please ask everybody uh, to, sh to shut the microphones for everyone? Okay, I, I will try now. Participants, yes, participants. Uh, mute all. Yes. Thank yes, you. I did. Somebody who is talking probably have two two devices. Yeah. Michael, it's extremely confusing to take a break in the middle of the lecture and see a video on YouTube. It's five minutes. Please, please have patience. Okay. See this five minute video and uh, come back.
So if you finished watching, just say yes. 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 Okay. Yes. Okay. It's it's enough. Let's, no. Yes. Let's continue. Let's continue. Uh, now I manage. Okay. And uh, again, I put my video. Okay. Uh, so what was in the video just a reminder uh, in a little bit uh, di different form what was in the lecture the advantage of what you heard now uh, that there, there was no uh, just a second uh, I, I want to find point, pointer so okay Okay, let, let's manage with this pointer. Uh, uh, the, the, that you don't need even no notion of full differential if you pay attention. We, we say in the one dim dimensional case, uh, derivative of the function, it's a slope of uh, its linear uh, approximation, which is like, Saying the same definition which you already know, and the, in multi-dimensional case we generalize the, the same notion and say that uh, if you have a linear mo uh, model of our function, multi-dimensional function, some uh, constant b plus c transpose uh, x minus x naught, so c transpose it's like generalized slope it's slope in all direction uh, actually components of ve vector c uh, should be partial derivatives of our function and then uh, differential is a very easy differential is increment of linear function which is c transpose x i just uh, i should stop share for one second because i want to get control to get control of uh, Acrobat to have no normal pointer. I, I will stop share for, for, for a second. Get normal pointer to, ah, I know. I should uh, view normal mode uh, out of read mode and yes. And now I, I will share again. Now I will share again. This my own screen sharing. Just a second. Thirty seconds. Screen share. Uh, start. Okay. So. Uh, uh, like uh, formula become very natural. Uh, so uh, the, the question about full differential and so on, we don't need to derive it, it uh, comes uh, automatically. Uh, and uh, also we, we had this uh, another, another situation, which is also very important for us. If we have a, function of two vector variables. Uh, I, I only want to be sure that you hear me. Does anybody can re reply with voice? Yes. yes. We can hear yes. You. Okay. okay, thank you very much. Without feedback, you know, it's very difficult when you see only yourself on the, on the screen. So if, if I have function of two vector variables, yes? Uh, in in the in those variables, the most general notion of linear function is uh, what is written here. It's some uh, vector a transpose by dimension of u by increment of u plus b transpose by increment of v from uh, some uh, given point. Just a second, just a second. Mama, нельзя разговаривать во время лекции. Just a 
Okay, I, I am sorry. I'm, I'm with you back. Uh, so, um, and uh, that's why increment of F is just uh, uh, gradient with respect to U multiplied by DU plus gradient with respect to V multiplied by D, D, DV. And we, if we put u and v is the, the, the same, mean uh, we, we have a function in which x is coming in two different places, uh, like you saw in the in the video. It's enough to think about uh, one place as a constant and differentiate with respect to one, and vice versa, which we has uh, had here in uh, derivative of quadratic function. Just uh, repeated what was in the video, uh, but uh, it it was useful. I I hope. Uh, any 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 comments? Any question on this? Yes, I've got a question. Uh, I understand we are talking about, uh, about function which are vectors, right? Uh, function value is color. Uh, argument is vector. Hmm. Okay. Because the uh, gradient and Hessian is oh, yes, yes. fine for okay. scalar function. When we have vector functions, then the Jacobian. Okay, thank you. Michael, uh, what's the uh, property of differential you used on uh, row three um, to go from DL to L transpose DU? Uh, just a second. You, you, you mean this? Ro my, where my. my no, row three where uh, it's handwritten. Yes, ah, here. Here, yes? Yes. Okay. How do we define differential of our function? We, we take linear approximation, best linear approximation, and it's increment of our linear approximation. This is uh, our rule. So it's very easy. So if I ask what is differential of L, I want to find increment of this expression. So du, uh, it's actually it's not written here. This d, d difference u minus u naught. This is du. And you recognized, yes? Yes. Okay. And why does it not operate on a transpose? Also, the just second. Why uh, again, yeah. not participate in the under the D? You 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 mean about this row? Yes. So you you have a transport transpose multiplied by D D D U. What is your question? Okay, maybe I'll ask you later. Okay. Does anybody have questions or, co or comments about this? Okay, because th uh, this uh, what student uh, asked me last year, how do you motivate the derivation of uh, of uh, differential of quadratic function? Yes, you have uh, a function where x is entering in two places, and uh, this formula, th this derivation, give you motivation. Okay, okay. So we, we were a little bit slow in the beginning. Uh, maybe it's good uh, point uh, to take 10 minutes break. And uh, in uh, 525, uh, I'm waiting you back. Is it good? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So in 10 minutes, we have a break for 10 minutes. No problem. Thank you. Okay. Je comprends rien. Le cours n'a pas commencé.
Okay. Uh, so I hope that people are back. Let's give one more minute. Okay. And uh, I hope that you see. Uh, you can open uh, your microphones, though who doesn't have a strong background noise around you, or at least if if you if you are talking, free, uh, feel free to uh, to talk uh, with everybody. Uh, so, uh, uh, but anybody, please uh, respond because I want to be sure that my microphone is. Working. Yes, we can hear you. Can hear you. Uh, you 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 don't don't know. How pleasant it is to to hear human voice after uh, you didn't hear it for a couple of minutes. Uh, so uh, uh, the, uh, this is our our first uh, exercise class uh, exercise uh, on uh, your screen. Uh, where is again? Ah, okay, here's pointer. Uh, assume we, that we have a function of. Uh, n dimensional vector x, which is uh, written in the form h of a x. A is a matrix, m n. H is a function uh, which gets uh, a x and uh, returns number. And we know everything about uh, matrix A and about h and uh, we mean we know gradient and Hessian of H, and we want to get uh, developed gradient of F like we do in, in the way we do it in the lecture. And uh, to start do something, uh, we will do the following. We, we know that uh, if, if I am able, to get expression for differential of f and it will be some uh, linear functional of x then uh, what i will have in inner product this will be gradient so we, we can start uh, moving in this direction uh, first of all i denote this in part ax as some auxiliary variable u and uh, because uh, this expression is linear, then d du is just a multiplied by dx. I, I wrote it here in the bottom in, in more de detail. Uh, d du, it's u when uh, you are staying at point x plus dx, a multiplied by x plus dx minus ix. It's uh, straightforward, the a multiplied by dx. And now, if 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 I have a differential of the argument, I can get differential of the function. It's just the gradient of this external function h uh, multiplied by the inner product with du. When I substitute everything, I discover that this uh, my d df is the inner product of some vector with dx and this vector will be gradient so i suggest you start writing down i i almost solved the problem for you for you this part of first part of the problem to find gradient and uh, please uh, start writing and uh, just a second i only want to ask to put your hands down the people who have them one otherwise you know that those people are not with us now <laughs> it looks like they were only in the beginning i understand and uh, i have one more qu question uh, okay we, we will have those people with the reason hand uh, uh, all the time but now I, I i am asking is here anybody who is uh, working in small groups because it's nice to work in small group with your friends say two three or four people uh, tell me with voice if, if if you are communicating with your friends on this on problem solution yes we do 
Uh, yes, we are. Yes. Okay. Or oh, maybe you know, right uh, now I have uh, three, se seven hands which are risen permanently, or oh, six now. Uh, raise your hand if if you are in the group with your friends. You you can be be all physically or via some other communication too, for example. Uh, not so many, but uh, I I encourage you really to to get to this. It's more uh, much more in, entertaining. So uh, our mission now is uh, substitute every, every, everything to to uh, express a differential df as something inner product with dx, and then immediately we will see gradients. And if you will finish, uh, will you can raise your hand again, and the volunteer will show us his solution. Could you please explain why do you uh, you subtract you subtract ax at the end? D, D, D differential of anything. We, we in 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 the le in the lecture actually we learn differential of scalar function of vector variable here u is vector function of vector uh, variable but in any case differential is increment of linear approximation because function ax is linear so differential is the same as increment increment of this fu function when i give increment dx to the argument and here what uh, what really is written in the last row Can you please explain again why do you subtract the uh, a multiplied by x? You you only explained on the addition uh, of the dx. Uh, just a second, just a second. Uh, give me one second because I see that I didn't turn uh, recording. Just a second. I record on this computer. I should have started recording early, earlier okay let, let me just for record for recording uh, return very fast to what we have in our first uh, ex example we, we have f f of x is h of a x x vector a matrix h is some function of many variables and we know everything about h it's gradient and question and we want to develop first gradient of f and then uh, afterwards question of f and uh, for the, for that we want to express differential of f so differential of f is a gradient of this external function by differential of its argument and then du like you asked what is d du u is uh, equal ax yes what is du? It's a, is d, d difference between a multi, uh, of x plus dx minus ax. This difference we call d, du. Why we call it uh, differential? Because the function is already linear. What is your question? Once more, or maybe you already got it? No question. Okay. Okay. Great. So start working and please. Raise your hand when you are ready and even tell it with voice. Michael. Yes. Can you explain again, please, uh, why the last uh, row is applied? Wow. No, I am tired. Please, anybody of the students can explain it instead of me. I explained it already twice, but maybe it not, was not clear enough. I think when I... When I try to understand it, uh, I use the geometric explanation you gave at the beginning of the second lecture. When you showed what is the differential, it's the change in the linear approximation. So if, if you measure that change, it would be exactly, I mean, geometrically, it would be just the difference between multiplying a by x plus dx and mi minus what you have before, like in the, on the x-axis. I mean, if you could draw, I could draw it. Or something. Okay, thank you, thank you. 
Poyachel. Who was it? I didn't see. Tamir. Tamir. Thank you very much, Tamir. Is there a formula sheet to this course? You have your lecture notes. What else you need, do you need? I think he meant, he meant in the, the exam. Test. He meant in the exam. No, no, let's uh, talk about this uh, later. Not now. Now we are solving our first problem in the class. Michael, I have a question as well about the IDU. The way um, I didn't view it geometrically, I viewed it more as A is constant. So if I use chain rule, like for example, if I do DU, so A is constant, and then I get it out of the differential. Is it a proper way of viewing it or a, or a con? Uh, a, a, a really is, uh, you're right. A is constant matrix. Our variables in all is only X. Yes, of course. Okay, thank We submit the notes uh, for all the questions, right? Yes, yes, in, in the end. Don't worry about this now. Yes, it's good to write down, but I, I, I hope that there is anybody who already solved the problem. It's very, very easy. Yes, you just substitute, uh, uh, you just substitute instead of du a multiplied by d, dx yes and immediately you see d, df is something uh inner product with dx did anybody finish it yes yes okay who is uh, yes. volunteer to show us to show okay. uh, so if, uh, you you know technically if you did on the paper it's good to to scan it with any application come scanner or whatever scanner do you have and show on the screen or otherwise you may type or write on your screen directly. I so can show my solution. Uh, uh, in bulk. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so I stop sharing my screen and I hope uh, that you have uh, permission to share yours. Mm -hmm. Okay, please show us. You see my screen? Very good. You, you advance your writing on the screen, yes. Very good. Um, so I just substitute u into uh, df here. Yes. And by the definition, we saw in the lecture of the uh, the external definition of the gradient. Uh, okay. This is true. Yes. Uh, so if we apply a, uh, transpose on this, the gradient of S, F will just be A transpose, the gradient of H. Okay. Uh, in Val, uh, what is it in, in Val, yeah? Yes. Uh, thank you very much. You, you are the beginner of our progress. <laughs> Uh, I can ask a question. But, but uh, in Val uh, and uh, all others, please don't stop your sharing. Uh, before students discuss, yes. Uh, can you get back? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Any, so any question? Can I ask um, about the uh, stage? I mean, I did something similar, but um, when we use um, when we put uh, the gradient of h transpose times a times dx, I mean, with the gradient of h, the variable is u. And when we substitute to du, we put a dx. So I thought the gradient of f transpose would be dependent on u, and we needed, we needed to be dependent of x, don't we? Do you understand uh, me? We, we already, uh, I, I am not sure that I'm. Uh, can, can I annotate I, or something? I, I try to say, I try to say something, uh, and you and others we will say so with a, it's satisfactory. I, my goal is what is differential? Uh, uh, in our course, differential is a bit different with what you are used to. For us, differential is like increment, like delta f, but only linear part. It's a number. Differential of uh, f is a number. Okay. And my question if is if I add to x dx, how much f will change? This is the only question. In the end, I will have only variable, only dx and the df is some constant vector multiplied by inner product. But the gradient dx. is dependent this on is some our, variable, don't it? Uh, we skip variable. We skip variable. Everything will de depend on x. We, we assume we, we are staying in the point x. Is yes? that, so what I'm saying is and, that and the gradient. The, of H depends on you. Just a second. Let, let me finish. We, we have a function f of x, and we develop its gradient with respect to x. With respect, not gradient depending on x. Mm -hmm. Gradient of f with respect to x. And this is what we get. And the gradient itself will change. We will get now to Hessian. And you will see that the gradient is really depending on x. Let, let's move on and then uh, do the second iteration. Okay. Uh, uh, any more question? The first question, then we will move to Hesh and then discuss everything together on, uh, on my uh, presentation. Okay. Okay. Uh, in Bal, thank you very much. You can close your. Sharing. Okay. And I will try to share again my, my viewer. Okay. So I did something like Ian Ball showed you. And uh, and now, so, so we have gradient. It's uh, a transpose multiplied by nabla h, but pay pay attention that h is a function of of u or, or finally of a x. It will change with x, so the gradient as well. And and uh, I I write it in full way here. Yes, so here is my original function, like you already are similar with and here is expression of my gradient uh, instead of nabla f i write g of x it's a transpose nabla h at point a x and now i want uh, i want to develop uh, derive a formula for hessian for this i i must give an equation if i give increment the differential to x dx what will be differential of this vector function how can i develop it just a second okay i i, I will just start for for, for you to, to make your life easy easier and if i will succeed to develop this uh, the differential i know from my lecture the formula the differential of gradient is hessian multiplied by dx so automatically i discover what is my hessian and again i will start uh, step by step 
I have uh, my external function h, yes, which has this uh, uh, its own gradient nabla h, which is used here. So we want uh, to get differential of this expression. A is a constant matrix, yes. So the, the only variable is uh, gradient of h. What is its increment of gradient of h? If you if you know <coughs> Hessian, uh, if you know Hessian of h, then uh, differential of gradient is uh, Hessian multiplied by differential of the argument du. And we already know what is d, du. We, we already wrote that this is A multiplied by D. Uh, again, try to med meditate on those formulas, which I just give you for starting. And think what else you need. You, you actually need to combine them together to get a differential of G as a function of dx, yes? Just uh, think what of those formula you have to substitute and you know already, ah, you, you, you have everything here. You have expression of du, yes? You have expression of nabla h as function of du and you have expression of gradient, it's just some constant matrix multiplied by nabla h. So start working and discussing with your partners and I hope that more people uh, next time will have a uh, way to solve together. And let me know if you are ready. Uh, Michael, you said that we know everything about H, including the Haitian. So does that mean yeah. we have the Haitian H of X, not of AX, right? Yeah, H of U. I, I, it's not good to write H. <clears throat> H is some... Uh, some function, for, for, for example, X uh, may have 10 variables, yes? Ten components. And you and matrix uh, may, uh, may be, say, 5 by 10, yes? Mm -hmm. uh, then H is function of five, 5 variables, yes? Mm -hmm. U is a vector of dimension 5. And Got we it. know the gradient of this external function of 5 variables. And it's Hessian. We, we uh, call this uh, this Hessian nabla squared H. This will be matrix five by five. Got it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Please. Michael. Yes. Uh, I see you wrote the gradient in the way that uh, the transpose is applying for the matrix A and not for the gradient, but you could do it opposite, right? You could, you could uh, multiply the gradient in the left and the matrix A in the right and do the transpose in the gradient, but it wouldn't be convenient to calculate. Uh... In our That's course, uh, uh, may, maybe uh, I partially understand your question. In our course, gradient is column. This is convention in optimization. Usually uh, in other areas, it may be row, but in our course, it's column. So it may be multiplied by matrix from the left, not from the right. But if you... Uh... But you could you could switch them and do transpose, no? Uh, no but after you do it, it, you 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 can you you can of course uh, write down uh, nabla h transpose uh, multiplied by a and transpose of everything. It's it um, help you. Doesn't. Sorry, Michael, I have a question. Yes. Um, I'm not too sure in the second formula that is um, circled why the why the differential of the gradient of H is being calculated. It's not calculated. It's definition. It's definition. We know from lectures this is generic formula. Yes, 
it's not our x it's any any argument of the function <coughs> so if you have differential of argument this is multiplied by Hessian it will give you differential of, uh, gradient now we say that uh, h is function of u yes of five five say we, we told our example yes. x has uh, 10 variables and u have has five variables yes, yes h is function of u so a gradient uh, of h is di differential of gradient uh, it's it's hessian with respect to you multiplied by d okay i understand thank you please it's good it's good you, you know to get used to it we need many times to go through these two slides and then i hope you will get used and uh, and be ready to develop really complicated matrix vector expressions for gradients and hessians And again, if anybody ready, please uh, tell us. Yeah. Uh, Adi, let, let's wait for a few more minutes. I need at least a few people to be. Sure, finished. sure thing. Please say us with your voice if anybody else will finish. I'm also finished. Yes, I'm also finished. Okay. Okay, very good. So Adi was uh, first. So I, I stopped my sharing and please say, Adi, can, can you show, uh, sh show up? Yeah, sure. Also, I stopped my sharing. Wait a second. Um, give me two seconds. I see that uh, some people are really are sitting in one room. It's very good. Thank you very much for coming to this group. One second. Okay. Okay. Um, so, so you you write on your screen with with yep. pen? Yes. So okay, basically, we were up to here um, with what we got, um, and then and all we did was plug in no, no, to the say, definition say, say here. It, it worked. Um, <laughs> here is not enough oh, so, oh, so dg equals um hdx where the definition is right here mm -hmm. um and then all we did is we took um the uh line right above here and then no, we just, just, uh, I, I i will help you to to say you know the differential of G is a transpose yeah. by the differential of of gradient. Okay, of and then a. all we okay. did is we know that the gradient, the gradient of of h, the differential of gradient of h, is uh, nabla squared of h wait, 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 du, right here. Okay, good. And then all we did is we put this line into this line yeah. right here. This is what we get down here. Mm -hmm. And then all we did is we plugged in the fact that 
um, du is a dx. Mm. And then we plug that into here and we got this, yeah. uh, this part right yeah. here. And then um, from the definition of h dx and we get this dx, then we know that a transpose nabla squared h a is h is the Hessian. Very nice, Adi. Thank you very much. And uh, any question, any comment? You see, we are getting used to it gradually, to putting your hand on it. That's for we need our meetings, our flipped classes. Thank you very much. If there are no questions, you can stop your sharing. And I will share my slides again. Uh, yeah, is it here? Yes. And now we are ready to move to. Uh, okay, I summarized here what you did. You see, I have summary on my slides. Uh, okay, and now we move to one more example. One more example. Very. It looks simple, but it's a very didactic. Uh, so we, we have such a chain function, phi of h of x, where phi is just color function, like c sinus something or whatever, from r to r. And inner function h, is a scalar function of vector variable. So we need now to develop a gradient, path gradient of f of x. And let's see what do I have here. Oh, I did all development. No, I cannot believe it. Yeah. Okay. So again, again you should uh, derive differential of f yes first uh, differential of h i will say you in words it's a gradient with respect to x multiplied by d, dx and differential of scalar function is differential of its uh, of its argument uh, multiplied by its derivative because phi is uh, scalar function is uh, convenient to write phi prime instead of uh, uh, number of okay. Bye bye. Yeah. Any, any question? Is it? Yes. Uh, develop a gradient of f of x. Again, write down the differential of f of x and discover the its gradient, and then we will move to the question. Isn't it just the same as uh, yeah, the, the same uh, sim similar principle? I don't mm -hmm. know. The word Jacobian is not in our class yet. It wasn't. In uh, our, uh, it wasn't sure. the lecture, but you don't have to to use it here. Here we are only with definitions of gradient. Of the
I pause my recording. Please, somebody remind me to resume it when we are back to discussion. Um, where are we supposed to find the, the Haitian as well? I'm sorry, I can't. Uh, you, you, you can start uh, working, but uh, please uh, first uh, tell me who are you with your voices. Okay. Yes, who, who, who else? I want somebody maybe who didn't show yet his solution today. Is anybody else? Yeah, okay, I will I will ask. Is anybody volunteering to show us solution? Please be, be proactive. ID and in Bali, I see. Somebody else? Okay, let's wait for a few moments. Uh, I will ask who who finished. Uh, no things to do in 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 Bal. Maybe you should show us the. Would you like in Bal or D? Uh, maybe I will show it again. Because I didn't have the time to write it on the screen. So, okay. are you uh, tell it again? Can you share, or you you are not ready? Uh, I'm, I'm not done yet. I'm not done yet. Okay, just then with gradients. Only with gradients. Gradients is pretty short. Give me two more. Give me a few more minutes. Okay. Get okay. my bearings. Go, go, go ahead. Go ahead. And I have a question. Um, when yeah. I write the the gradient, I do it like very simply. First, I write the f with um, f d x, and then I incorporate um, uh, the gradient of phi and then the gradient of h. So I get a multiplication. Yes, uh, just a second. Only one word. Phi uh, is a scalar function, so you should write phi prime. It's derivative. It's scalar. It's just a okay, scalar. right. So that was my question because I get uh, um, yes, yes. the easier. differential yes. times the differential. I didn't know what the dimension. Okay, yes, thank you. yes, yes, yes. <laughs> thank you. So phi is a scalar. That's why it's much easier. Mm -hmm. Other, otherwise, we should get the notion of uh, Jacobian, and you're mm -hmm. not doing it. Thank you. I think I. If you uh, if nobody solved, then I I will show you my solution. It's on the screen. Does anybody want to comment what I wrote? Just tell it um, with voice and uh, yes. So phi prime is just phi prime. It's not phi prime at a specific point 
Because it's, it's a scalar yeah. function, so it should yes, be at the uh, point a, h of x. If, if yeah, I'm... yes, but uh, you know we, we are shortening now our notation. Like oh, okay, so it's just a shortening of notation. Uh, physicists often love to do this. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's just uh, value. If if I ask what is uh, df, it's value. We are interested in value of phi, phi prime. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's multiplied by du, and uh, this is our u is h, yes. So d, du is uh, gradient of h with dx. And we should substitute everything, and we get df. It's this ve ve vector uh, uh, multiplied by dx. This, this is gradient transpose. So. So this is final expression for gradient. We don't need to switch places. We don't need uh, to write any, uh, no transport, no thing. Yes, this is like number yeah. e, e prime. Maybe that's why it was difficult for you because it's unusual. Yes. Okay. And now what we can do. And uh, now I want to develop Hessian. And uh, to develop Hessian, I need the, the differential of this expression. I, ca I cannot be lazy anymore. I should write argument like you wanted me, yes? Instead of nabla f, I, I write g. This is my gradient. Again, I, I'm lazy. I'm speaking the argument here, but I write argument on the right-hand side. And now, if I will develop what will be differential of gradient uh, when I do differential of x, I will find somehow Hessian of everything. And uh, pay, pay attention that here are two terms, product of two terms or function where x is entering two times, yes? And like we told in other cases, consider x as constant in one place and variable in other place and develop a differential and vice versa. Did I did something? I, I want to get to the point where it will be easy for you to continue. I think can I ask about the gradient? Huh? Can I ask about the gradient? Yes. Uh, the gradient of f. If we would put the variable uh, of phi, it, would it be h of x or just x? Uh, which line are you are asking about? Uh, where you're at now, exactly. Yeah. You, you point out the pr pr phi prime. So phi but you prime. See, I, no, I wrote here explicitly. Oh, you yeah, missed it. Okay. Phi prime is a scalar function at the point h of x. Thank but you. Derivative, pay attention, the derivative not with respect to x, with respect to h. Yeah, I want to make sure. Is number, h is a scalar, mm -hmm. x is a vector. With respect to x, it would be a gradient, yes? It's not yeah, exactly. a, a number. Yeah, just want to make sure. Thanks. So here I helped you to start. I wrote, actually, I worked hard today be, before our meeting because it was not written. I always wrote it on whiteboard in previous years. And here I wrote it on the slide. And from here, I try to continue. So your mission is, so you, you, you actually have two terms. And for technical convenience, I suggest you to develop Hessian of every, of every term separately. It will be less writing, easier on writing. Just take this term and develop its Hessian, and then the second term separately. Okay, start working. Michael, can you explain, please, why? Uh, how did you get to the last line? Uh, you see here, I have an uh, expression where x is entering two times. I have a function, complicated function of vector x. 
and he it enters in two different places. Yes. Okay. And uh, then I need to stop the sharing and remind you what was in that short video that I uh, showed you in the beginning. And the uh, bottom line there was if X is entering, uh, uh, maybe I should start writing on, on my with uh, annotate. If if I have some fu function f, it's it's not my f, it's something f of u and v, two vector variables, yes. And uh, I I know that the differential of f, it's uh, I don't know, it's gr uh, gradient with respect to u multiplied by du plus uh, gradient with respect to v multi, uh, of f transpose multiplied by d v and uh, what does uh, it says if if i compute uh, uh, if i want derivative uh, if i want uh, differential of f i am thinking about v as a constant yes only u as variable and uh, vice versa and then i get the uh, differential why why it you it is useful because sometimes for example I assume that u and v have the same dimension and i i may ask what is uh, f of x x yes first uh, i enter uh, x uh, instead of u and uh, other x is instead of v yeah, and i ask what is differential of this expression then it's exactly what i told you you can think about uh, second x as a constant and develop differential and then vice versa and it will give you full differential and this what we did here you see the x is here and here in two very different places here is gradient depending on x, and here is function depending on x. It's two different places, and still we are able to put them together just to take one differential when uh, this is variable plus other differential. I hope you understand me. Yes. Yeah, so, so this Thank is you. an important important point because if, for example, we have some complicated function, not necessarily a multiplication of functions. But also work some proposition or, or some uh, yes exactly. division the same exactly. thing right exactly if if you want to develop even in single variable uh, derivative of x to the power x you know people do this with logarithms open and give it to the convert it to the product but with our rule you are able to do it directly if you know uh, derivative of exponent and derivative of power function yes one function is like power function when this is uh, x uh, in exponent is constant yes and uh, vice versa if this x is constant then the, it's a derivative of exponent and you get just some of two of them so I'm just adding this very this, general uh, this, rule. Yeah. yeah, I'm just adding and adding both uh, expressions. But some one one of them I'm differentiating on the x as a base and one on the exponent. Yes, 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 yes. That's why I love our Zoom classes. You will never get to these questions when you're just sitting alone. And this works for sums as well. For anything. For anything, I can understand why it works for multiplication because there's like a clear dependence. But if there's a sum between things, how is there? Just a second. We, we, uh, 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 I, I want to let you work on this example, and after lecture we will have we have usually free discussion, free discussion, and we are free to discuss everything. 
and then we will have a reception hour when people can uh, okay. ask also personal question right. just uh, continue to work on this example and we are close to the end of our form formal time i encourage you to stay if you can stay yes what was the question just uh, first of all i ask you if you can just concentrate on this example just let's try to solve it and then we will discuss everything else actually we have two terms uh, here i think one of them is more simple but any 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 case if anybody ready with at least one term I'm ready. Yeah, yeah. You, yes okay uh, Please show us, and I will stop my sharing. I did. Uh, did I resume recording? Wow. Yeah, you do. Do, okay, do so... you see me recording? I'm not sure. Uh, oh, just a second. No, I am not. Wow. Uh, just uh, give me one say one second. Recording pause. Sapir is recording anyway. Yeah. Okay. We will ask Sapir to <laughs> maybe to upload to YouTube or something like this. Okay. Uh, go ahead. I resumed my recording. Okay, so I followed what I uh, described in here with D over the two parts, the tensors. And then for the first one, it's just the uh, second derivative of the phi. And then the, the gradient of H, the definition of the gradient again. Maybe somebody else may help to, to comment. 
it's not clear for me how, how you are talking. Uh, no. Let's start ag again. We, we, which line? We, we, so the, the first line, uh, the second line already was in our on yeah. our whiteboard. Yes. Yes. And you trying to do all terms together? Yeah. Okay. I, I'm I'm opening this one to. Uh... Okay. This, this, this three. Yeah. But tell it in in in, in words. You um, you you yeah. have the differential of phi prime. Yeah. The, the, the first the first derivative is actually the second derivative. The differential of the phi the phi tag is the second derivative of phi tag on u. Right. This is, let's say it's in u. And then we have du. And uh, du is actually uh, h transpose x dx. Uh, sorry, dh. Oh. Yes, this you you are staying now in the most difficult place on these der derivations. You you have this expression, nabla h transpose multiplied by dx by nabla h. Yes. Yeah, nabla h is, 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 is this. Thing. Yes. And the second part is just by definition of the Haitian uh, with dx. Yes, okay. So the, the second I'm, term is easy. But yeah. in the first term, if you don't put par uh, parentheses, yes. you have amb ambiguity in your expression. This part is actually a scalar, so I can. Uh, yeah, yes, but you. you, you... I, I, want, I want something uh, multiplied dx. Eventually. Yes, yes, because in this uh, place where where you mark it, you have uh, really a problem. You cannot combine d dx with right hand side because yeah. you have column multiplied by column. There is one delicate issue. Yeah. Then since, since I'm moving it, it's it becomes a uh, outer product of, of these two, so it's a matrix also. Yes. Yes. And then we have the matrix and the matrix, and, and uh, it's basically a matrix at the end. And this is the nation. Okay, any question, any comment? Yes, I have a question. Yeah. Uh, I didn't understand the, how did we get, get from the third line to the fourth? What is the, how did he switch between them? From this to this? Yeah. This is actually uh, a scalar, right? This is a vector multiplied by a vector. Yeah. So I can switch it uh, to whoever, wherever I want. So I move it to the, to the last in order to have something multiplied dx. Okay, I want to move out dx from everything. So I move it to the last place. And then, and then, what you see here, it's just a, a, a matter of order of multiplication. So now it becomes a matrix uh, versus a matrix vector. And uh, here it's also a matrix with a vector. So we move the vector outside. And then we have a matrix, one, one, uh, one length matrix with a uh, relation. <laughs> Okay. Uh, okay, thank you. Okay. Uh, thank you very much. And with this, uh, uh, you, you, you can uh, stop your sharing. Uh, and I maybe will come to my, with my, where are my slides? Just a second. I have just one question. Yes, I, I will show my my slides because we have the same there. Maybe it will be easier to discuss. Uh, okay. Second. second. Okay. I have uh, also, yes, yeah. Yeah, here's I repeat it. Yes. Uh, so what is most interesting for us, this is uh, 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 which term? The, 
the first, yes? The first is the simpler one. Uh, the first is more. Ah, ah, feed. This if, one know, is, is fairly simple because uh, it's, uh, it, 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 yeah, it goes according to the term. example earlier. Yeah. The, the second uh, term. So, so we, we have this expression H, uh, gradient of H multiplied the transpose multiplied by DX. And we, can put it on the left and on the right. And here is the delicate point that we may discuss now. And, and what, what was your question? So eventually H, um, the Hessian should be a matrix, if I'm understanding correctly. Yes. Um, so what makes this term DG2 into a, into a matrix? Um, because okay. because phi because phi double prime is a scalar, yeah. Uh, dx is a vector, I'm assuming, and then uh, but, uh, j just a second, h doesn't include dx, it's something oh, okay. So, so, this, so basically, this is the most important thing, yes. So, Nabla h multiplied by Nabla h transpose, yes, okay. And that so, that is not the same as as num Nabla squared h. Uh, Nabla squared H is widely used in mathematics in two different meanings. Thank you for good question. And uh, actually, we, we are close to the end of our lesson. Uh, so who wants to stay and uh, finish this mathematical discussion and then discuss general stuff, you're welcome. And if not, you can finish and we will discuss the remaining part in our forums okay so le let me start writing uh, annotate hope that i will be able i need to enlarge a little bit can i do it uh, enlarge a little bit and here maybe opposite okay do some place for writing if if I have a column vector, uh, say my uh, Nabla H, yes? Are you with me? Yes, yes. Go ahead. Uh, now multiply it by row by row vector. What this object gives us? What this product gives us? It gives a matrix. Gives a matrix because it's called outer product of two vectors. But uh, uh, I think it uh, answered your question, yes? So it's just a multiplication rather than actually um, turning on the, the Nabla operator again over, over um, Nabla H, if I understand correctly? You, you so... So, you, so you, you can think about Nabla in, in our case. It's a column, it's a D, DX1, for, for example. Yes, okay. So, so D, Nabla squared. Uh, so, Nabla yeah, just a second, give, give me one, one second. D, D, uh, XN. Yes, mm -hmm. define Nabla as a column in, in our case. It may be d different. Then uh, you you may multiply nabla by nabla transpose, or you may multiply nabla transpose by nabla, and those uh, often both of them are denoted as nabla squared. By uh, but pay attention that this is uh, Hessian, yes. Mm -hmm. Nabla by Nabla transpose, and this is Laplacian. So th this is a matrix of partial derivatives, and this is a number which is the sum of uh, second derivatives. So which one of them corresponds to the to the Nabla squared that's in DG one? What is DG one? Ah, 
right yeah. up here at the top of the screen. Ah, Nabla Square in our course. What is Nabla Square in our course? Does anybody can help me? I'm assuming it's it's the matrix form. No, we have Hessian. notation. We say it's Hessian. In the lectures, we use it for Hessian. Okay. So isn't the isn't um, um if i can annotate myself but uh just a second uh one more you you are saying many things uh, to together nabla squared h and nabla h multiplied by nabla h transpose those are very different things nabla squared h includes second derivatives yes that, that, that was my that was my question so this is a vector by vector and it gives me a matrix but this is actually but the top one this one is actually giving um is operating the operator again over something over uh nabla h yes yes and okay here, that's the difference and here okay. you have uh, second de derivatives and here you have products of first derivatives okay i get it now okay it's very nice that we are getting to this uh, very nice. okay thank you pleasure and there is a, there is a discussion uh, you you know i already see that our recording this year uh, will be less successful than the same recording of last year so i recommend you when you get again to the to our lesson just we have uh, uh, on Coursera and on, on Zoom last year Zoom class uh, for this meeting and just use it. And we also discuss very nice uh, topic. Why, why do we had to move this uh, inner product to the right? Yes, because uh, if you want, uh, okay. I I, I just uh, refer. We, we are already over our time. I refer you to Zoom recording of last year uh, to see nice discussion of this question. Okay, that was fairly okay. understood, but thank you very much for the lecture. Uh, pleasure. And now, uh, uh, if you don't have a question about this, I will stop share. And uh, we are moving to the most pleasant part of our meeting, who wants to stay? It's uh, usually we do it on of two parts. First, uh, a free mathematical discussion, and the second, uh, administrative and personal. 